Have you guys ever wondered what's the easiest way to make perfectly cooked salmon? Well, the answer is this pan-seared salmon recipe, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do it. I'm Justin from Cookie with Hoyt. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this recipe, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is prep our salmon. And the thing that we wanna do here is remove as much of the water as we can from the outside of the salmon. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm going to blot up as much of the water as I possibly can. We wanna get this salmon as dry as humanly possible. And there's a very good reason for that. This is pan seared salmon. We wanna give this salmon a beautiful sear. And there are two key fundamentals to that. Number one, like I said, you wanna get rid of as much of the water as possible. That's gonna help you get a really great sear, a really great crispy exterior on the salmon once it hits the pan. And the second way to get a great sear is to use a cast iron skillet, which I have right in front of me. Cast iron heats up really nicely, heats up very evenly, and that's also gonna help you get a really fantastic sear. So first, let's blot up all of the water that we can. And let's try to get the water from both sides of the fish. So we're also gonna do the skin side as well. Well, the skin's been removed, but let's do the underside. Next thing we're gonna do is season the salmon with salt and pepper. Now, salt is also another way to get a great sear. So what the salt does is it uh, draws out the moisture and soaks it up. So it's gonna make the skin of the salmon even a little more dry. And now we're gonna add some pepper. And the salt and pepper is completely to taste, so add as much or as little as you want. All right. The salmon is totally prepped. Let's move on to the searing. First, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil into the pan. Now this pan is really hot and some of you might be concerned about using olive oil in a really hot pan because olive oil, as we all know, breaks down under higher temperatures. You could also use avocado oil, uh, which does really well at high temperatures if you want, but I'm gonna use olive oil because that's what I have with me right now. So let's move around the oil in the pan. Just wanna get a nice, good, even coating. And let's go ahead and drop in our salmon. I'm first gonna start with the uh, top side down. There we go. Okay, one of the other things that you need to do if you wanna get a really great sear is when you drop the salmon in the pan, you don't touch it. And I know I'm one of those people who likes to fiddle with things, who likes to move things around the pan for no reason at all, but fight the urge, it's not worth it. If you leave it in place, it's gonna get the best sear possible. Okay, we're gonna let this salmon cook in this pan face down for about three to four minutes. Then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. All right, guys, this salmon is searing beautifully. Let me show you how we're doing. Uh, Brayden, come in and get a shot of this. So the beauty about cooking salmon is that you can look on the side. So you see how we can already see the salmon cooking through? Once it reaches about halfway up on the fish, that's how you know when to flip it over. So that's exactly right now. So let's give it a little flip. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Now that is a beautiful sear on the salmon. Uh, Brayden, get a shot of this. Look how crispy that salmon is. That's exactly what we want. All right, so we just flipped the salmon. Let's let it sear on the other side for just about another three to four minutes. All right, this salmon is completely done, so I'm gonna take it off really quickly. Oh, this sear is so incredible. I'm taking it off really quickly. I'm gonna let it rest while we work on our sauce. First thing we're gonna do for our sauce is mince our two cloves of garlic. Next thing we're gonna do is add our butter into the pan. We wanna get the butter completely melted and then we're gonna add in our garlic. We're gonna saute this garlic in the butter and cook it until it's become fragrant. Just probably about one or two minutes. Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of chicken broth and two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is such an easy sauce and it really complements a wide variety of proteins. You can do it with salmon and you can also do it with chicken. All right, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and let it cook down uh, until it's about halfway reduced and then it's gonna be ready to go. Oh guys, I almost forgot. We gotta add a little salt and pepper to taste. Just a little pinch here, a little salt and some pepper. Okay, now we're gonna let it reduce. All right, let's put everything together. So let's take a little bit of our sauce. We're just gonna spoon it right on top of this beautiful salmon. Oh my gosh, and look at the garlic. Oh, this looks so incredible. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna do is garnish with just a little bit of chopped parsley. Look at how beautiful this all came out. I cannot wait to give it a try, but before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's give this a taste. Wow, this skin came out so crispy. Mm. 
Wow. Wow, this pan-seared salmon came out perfect. And this garlic lemon butter sauce is the perfect complement. Guys, you've got to make this recipe. I really hope you do. I'll see you in the next video.